Oh, well, there are the house lights, and that means that Maestro shan't appear again, and our audience leaves and reminds us that for the next two weeks, uh, before Maestro Toscanini returns for his concluding series of four concerts with the NBC Symphony Orchestra, the orchestra will be under the direction again of Guido Cantelli. Mr. Cantelli has been sitting here with us in our control room, uh, watching and listening to the concert as he does regularly when he is not performing with the orchestra. And I'm going to ask him, you've had a busy day today. You conducted uh, the Boston Symphony, didn't you, today, Mr. Cantelli? Yes, I finished uh, an hour before I conducted the last concert and the tour of the Boston Symphony. Yes, and now you're going to do two concerts for us with the NBC. What do you plan for your program next week? Next week, my program will be uh, the overture of the Sick of Corinth of Rossini. Yes. And uh, the Sixth Symphony, the Pathetic of Tchaikovsky. The Siege of Corinth is an opera which I can't recall. It isn't frequently performed mm, here. Yes, it's unusual. Unusual. An opera, unusual performance. Well, that's course. like much of Rossini, as I'm thinking of Semiramide and the Barber of Seville. And then the, uh, uh, the second concert, the week after, what are you including? The Haydn, the 93 Symphony in D major, and uh, the Matis del Mare of Indemit. The 93rd Symphony of Haydn and Matis de Mala. It seems to me, if my memory's right, that, that uh, there's some particular reason why you've chosen that. Would you tell us why, Mr. Cantelli? Yes, it was my first program when I came into this country in 1949. Well, my of course, those same two selections. Yes, the same selection. My first program in uh, Studio AH in NBC. Yes, in our studios in Radio City. That was exactly, well, it's exactly five years ago. Five years, my fifth anniversary in this country. And marked your first performance with the NBC Symphony. Oh, yes. As I recall chatting with Maestro Toscanini, uh, that was the selection which you were playing, uh, perform conducting at La Scala when uh, you were first brought to his musical attention. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Well, that's been a, an important selection for you, hasn't it? Yes. This has been altogether a busy year, besides the Philharmonic and then the Boston Symphony. Is that right? Yes, my work is finished now with Boston. I am only a concert next Tuesday, but uh, after um, the two weeks in uh, NBC, yes. I have uh, four weeks with the Philharmonic. It's all yes. concluded my season. Yes. My season. And then you'll probably, what, return to uh, Italy I, for the summer? No, I come back immediately in Italy, but I go for the month of May in London. Uh-huh. Yeah. You'll be with us again, though, in the fall. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Cantelli. Uh, we've been chatting with Guido Cantelli, who will conduct the NBC Symphony Orchestra, as he has told you, in these two concerts, one of which has particular personal significance for him. And then Maestro Arturo Toscanini returns, uh, following those two concerts by Guido Cantelli, for a concluding series of four concerts, which will mark also the end of the 16th a regular winter season of the NBC Symphony under Arturo Toscanini. We cordially invite you to be with us next week and successive weeks when the National Broadcasting Company presents these broadcast concerts of the NBC Symphony Orchestra over your favorite NBC station. Your engineer was George Mathis, and this is Ben Grauer speaking. <laughs>